I was in this bombed out building, there were metal shutters put in front of the window so no natural light came in. I was chained by the hands and feet to the wall for 23 hours and 50 minutes a day. I slept on the floor on a mattress. There were no books and papers for almost five years. Uh, no companionship. I, I never saw anybody. I mean, it, when someone came in the room with food, I had to pull a blindfold over my eyes. And so it was complete and utter isolation. And uh, I was afraid that in that situation, I was going to lose my reason. I'd heard of people who'd been kept in strict isolation, uh, strict solitary confinement, and become crazy. And I realized that I had to do one thing more importantly than anything else. I had to keep my brain alive. I began to write in my head um, and began to compose in my head. I wrote poetry in my head. I've got a, there's a book here, a book of poetry that, that I, I published later, which a lot of it was written in my head in those years. Um, I also wrote, um, started to write about my life. And again, that was published at a later stage, a book called Taken on Trust. Keeping my brain alive. I had also to learn how to live one day at a time. Thank you.